Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys on my first Town Hall 10 trophy base design. That's right, guys. We just did Town Hall 10 uh, a couple days ago thanks to AppNana. If you guys haven't heard about AppNana, go ahead and check it out in the description. It's what I use to get free gems thanks to you guys and y'all's support. It's a really cool way to get gems. You can help each other out, input each other's codes and whatnot. So definitely check that out if you haven't. But why don't we go ahead and jump into this thing. I have it built over here on ClashOfClansBuilder.com. If you guys want to design your own bases, that's the best way to do it. So much easier than designing in here. You can move things around better. So ClashOfClansBuilder.com is what I use. But since this is a trophy base, let's go ahead and drag our town hall right <coughs> here into the center of the base. Um, and then we're going to bring in our uh, mortars. We're going to put two of those on either sides right here just to keep them protected and to allow them to cover um, a pretty good amount of the base, especially this little inner ring. As you can see, this uh, inner ring goes all the way around, which is used for kiting. Um, it's a terminology that people use in other games when you can kind of control or kite characters. So when you have an inner ring like that that goes all the way around a lot of times the uh, attackers will just go all the way around the base and while they're doing that they're just getting shot at by all of your defenses which is exactly what we want to happen um, next why don't we go ahead and uh, we'll bring in this wizard tower but our other mortar is going to go right here it's a little bit exposed but um, it's fine generally at town hall 10 you'll see a lot of defenses outside the walls um, and a little bit more exposed because you want to be able to pre protect your town hall a little bit more so that's why that that's why that mortar is going to be out there. Let's go ahead and bring in our other wizard towers. We're going to work on the center of the base first, and we'll go ahead and show you everything that's going to be in there. So let's go ahead and bring in our expos as well. We're going to put two of those in the center of the base, one right there and one right here as well. That looks like it's off. Why is that off? No, it's not off. <laughs> and then we're going to bring in our clan castle. That's by far your most, one of your most important defenses, especially if you're in an active clan, because it can make or break a defensive, a defensive win that you might get. So um, next we're going to bring in our Inferno Towers, which are very, very important. I'm so excited to have mine. And as you can see, they cover practically the entire inner ring of this base, which is what I was talking about earlier. As troops are working their way around it, they're just going to be taken out completely by these multi-target Inferno Towers. Let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our defenses. Next, we have this expo up here that we are just going to put in the corner right there. And we have two Teslas to bring in and help protect that as well as the town hall. And as you can see, these Teslas are also protecting that inner ring of the base. This, uh, this expo right here is put to ground, and these two are put to ground and air. The reason this one's ground is because it covers a lot of the base, so it's going to be working its way around while the other two are going to be protecting the air and the ground. So that's why I have that one set to ground. It's also a level 2. The other ones are level 4, and they are set to air and ground. Next, we can just continue working our way around. Why don't we bring in our air defenses next? So we're going to actually, let's go ahead and finish up with these two Teslas right here. We have these two Teslas right here with some spring traps next to them, which are going to do work to any kind of troop that comes in or tries to sneak in to the base. So as they work around from the left or the right, same with up here, we have more traps heading into that wizard tower. That's going to do work on any of the troops that are being kited around the base. Let's go ahead and bring in our air defenses. We're going to put two right here on opposing sides. You can see they cover the top of the base, and then we're going to put two right down here on the bottom and they are going to cover the bottom half of the base. Up high in Town Hall 10 whenever you try and push, I am going to be trying to push to Masters very soon which I'm super excited about. Um, it's very important to have good air defenses because people attack with Balloonian a lot or Mass Dragon and things like that and having your air defenses protected is very very necessary. Let's go ahead and bring in our Archer Towers now. We're going to put those right next to the air defenses to kind of help protect the air defenses and the inner part of the base. And then next, after this update, our heroes have become more of a defensive tower than before. It's hard to pull them. The more you have them protected in the center of the base, which is what's happening right here, the less likely it is that they are going to get pulled out. And if you put them on opposing sides, then they're really going to wreak a lot of havoc to anybody that tries to attack your base. 
Next, let's go ahead and bring in our Dark Elixir Drills. We're going to protect our level 6 ones in the middle. We're also using this just as filler space in the middle as something else that the troops have to attack. So Wizards, this is going to give Wizards another target that isn't a defense. So when the Wizards are shooting things that aren't your defenses, that means your defenses have a longer period of time to destroy any of the troops that might be attacking your base. And we do want to protect our resources too. I am still trying to move up, so we're going to protect two sets of our resources. We're going to protect our Dark Elixir, and we're going to protect some of our gold as well as some of our Elixir. As you're pushing, it's very important to have a lot of Elixir because army compositions up here are pretty expensive, especially go wipe and things like that. You can be upwards of 400,000 Elixir per attack, so you need to be getting it back from somewhere, and protecting it is definitely necessary. Let's go ahead and uh, bring in our cannons next. We have one cannon down here just as a little point defense for us. And then we have a elixir storage right here with an archer tower right next to that. And then we have a gold storage right there. And then we're going to bring in another cannon right here. You can see there are giant bombs and bombs in there just as distraction right now. And as you can see right here, I'm going to put a gold mine in here. So any troop that comes in, the first thing that it's going to shoot is not going to be my defense. It's going to be a gold mine. So while they are shooting this gold mine, even though it might only be for a couple of seconds, you can uh, have this cannon here protecting that and protecting the inner part of your base. Let's go ahead and bring in our other wizard towers. We're going to put one of those right here and we are going to bring another archer tower and put that thing right there. And all of these have a little extra area of wall just to keep them, uh, to give them a little bit of buffer from any of the attacking troops. And then we're going to put our last our last elixir, dark elixir drill right over there. Next we're going to bring in these gold mines right here just as another little extra line of uh, passive defense for troops to attack as they're working their way in there to that mortar. Next we're going to bring in an archer tower right here that is level 6 going up to level 7. And then we're going to bring in a cannon as well. And let's go ahead and bring in uh, these barracks right here again as another passive defense so as archers or wizards are attacking they're going to be shooting this army camp and then they're going to be shooting this elixir collector and then they're going to be shooting the barrack because it is one block further ahead than the cannon so the cannon will be shooting at them as they're shooting that and once again we are going to do the same thing right over here and let's keep on working our way around the base so we have a cannon right here and our last wizard tower as well as another archer tower right there and then we have a gold mine right here then we have our lonely little level 7 cannon going up to level 8 right now and then we're going to bring in another gold storage right here another archer and then our last elixir storage is going to go right there and we are going to save our village and you can see when we zoom out how it's looking. I think that it looks pretty good. I'm excited to see how it works. Obviously, I just made this, but you guys are going to see how well it works, especially as I try and push up to Champions League. So, again, the whole point of this base is really just to kite troops around the inner part as these Inferno Towers and Expos and Teslas and everything just do work to the troops as they just run around like a little merry-go-round. So I'm excited to see how this works. I'm excited to try and push up to Champions League. It's going to be the furthest I've ever gone. I haven't even been up to Masters 1. The highest I got, I believe, was Masters 3 and pretty close to Masters 2. Um, so we're, we're going we're gonna to be doing this, and I'm excited about it. But I hope that you guys like this base. You can try it out. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I feel like it kind of looks like a turtle or something, like this area up here is the turtle's head, and these are his <coughs> flippers, and these are his feet. I don't really know. <laughs> so you can call it the turtle base if you want to. It doesn't really matter to me. But again, I'm very excited to see how it works out. I think it's going to be pretty good. We're going to try barching our way up to Masters, and then we're going to start doing probably Go Wipe or Go Wee Wee, which is going to be super expensive. So yeah, but I'm excited, guys. I hope that you all are too. Leave a like down below for Town Hall 10. Super, super happy that we're here. Finally, finally, you guys get some new content, and the first of that content is a new trophy base for Town Hall 10. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I really really do appreciate it and as always why don't you make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later